Hello and good evening. This evening we will be discussing life after high school. So you might be asking yourself, I'm a senior, now what? We will be going over these topics with you. Make things happen. What does that even mean? Well, in a nutshell, colleges and universities are not going to be knocking on your door begging you to come to their school. Apprenticeship opportunities are not going to appear on your doorstep and the most amazing career opportunities are not going to fall into your lap. No worries though, your school counselors are here to help. We will explore our first topic with you, college. Here are two key terms you will need to know when deciding early decision or early action. With early decision, you must attend if accepted and must withdraw applications sent to any other school if accepted. You must decline any other financial aid offers from other schools as well. With early action, this is a non-binding agreement. In early action, students receive an early response to their application, but do not have to commit until the normal reply date, which is typically May 1st. How do you decide which college is best for you? You'll want to consider all that are listed, but I will highlight a few. Consider the cost. The cost of a school is typically a big factor. Any financial aid and scholarships offered will help you make this decision. Consider the location. How far do you want to be from mom and dad? Keep in mind travel times. Will mom do your laundry or will you? Who will cook your food on the weekends? Be sure to consider programs offered. Does the college even offer your major? Go to the school's website for this specific information and more. Now, how does one actually apply to a college? You will first need to thoroughly examine the college application. Common App and Coalition are great ways to accomplish this. Keep in mind, not all colleges are on the Common App or Coalition App. Some schools have their own application process, which can be found on their websites. Secondly, you will need to complete the entire application. This includes mailing the payment. If you receive free or reduced lunch or think you might qualify, there are waivers available. Please reach out to your counselor. Finally, be sure to ask your teacher and counselors 10 school days in advance for a letter of recommendation if needed. We will discuss this more later. Next, be sure to order your transcripts through parchment. We will show you how to do this shortly. Please allow at least 10 school days for transcript requests to be processed. Also, be sure to submit all forms in a timely manner and double check the school's application process to make sure all steps have been completed. Everyone loves a break and school counselors are no different. Winter break is a great opportunity to catch up on some much needed rest and relaxation. So please don't stress over your break. Get your transcript request in early. The College Entrance Examination Board provides every high school and college an identifier code, the CEEB code. Screenshot this number for future reference as you may need it to send standardized test scores and other information. ACT and SAT are both college entrance exams. Either test can be taken and either score can be used to gain entrance. The next testing dates are listed on their respective websites. Here are great ways to gain college credits before you graduate. Please see their respective websites for more details. It is a great idea to check out College Board for the most up-to-date AP information. In addition, please check out the link to help with your testing decisions. 
Students are responsible for sending AP, dual enrollment, and CLEP scores to colleges. These scores are not on the transcript. Please review College Board and Tidewater Community Colleges websites for more details about how to send your scores. Money, 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 money! Money! Searching for scholarships. There are a lot of different avenues that you can use to search for scholarships. One resource that we have here at Grassville High School is Scholarship View. To start searching for scholarships, students will utilize their student ID number as both their user ID and password. Parents and students can also search scholarships via the web through local churches and businesses. Seniors should check out Scholarship View at least once a week by second semester. All scholarship organizations have their own detailed instructions and in reference to application procedures, so make sure you pay close attention to details. Please remember to use your parchment account to send your transcripts. You can even send one to yourself. Make sure you give us plenty of time to process your order. Check out this short video for parchments, tips, and tricks. You, the student, are responsible for checking scholarship view and mailing all required documentation by the posted deadline. Here are some important reminders about requesting a letter of recommendation. You will only need to request a letter of recommendation if you need it. Teachers, counselors, and other faculty members or community members are all great candidates to pull from. It is a good idea to provide a brag sheet of your accomplishments, awards, and activities to the person you are asking to write on your behalf. Please be sure to give the recommender at least 10 days to complete. The next few slides will address students who are uncertain or are considering options other than a four-year college. If you are planning to go into employment after high school, you will want to actively search and engage in the career process. Many jobs are found online and can be accessed online. You will need to create a resume to be prepared for the job interviewing process. Be sure to attend the CPS Annual Career Fair, which is virtual this year. Are you considering joining the military? Research the branch of interest and be sure to take the ASVAB. Dates of testing for Grassville High School will be announced as they become available. You can also talk with your recruiter about other opportunities to take this exam. Technical schools can provide individuals with hands-on training and certifications to obtain careers in a short period of time. Community colleges often have outstanding programs and are less expensive. Be sure to check out their websites for specific application requirements. If you are interested in Tidewater Community College, here is the information for our representative. Another great resource we have here at Grassville High School is our Access Advisor, Mr. Kelly. Are you an athlete? Why would this be important? If you're interested in playing sports in college, there are a few things that you should familiarize yourself with. One is the core course GPA. Core course GPA is different than the GPA on your transcript. Here are the directions as well as the code that you would need to access this information. Again, if you're interested in playing sports in college, you also need to register through the NCAA. The complete registration process can be found at this website. Words of wisdom. Although school counselors love to make schedule changes, no sarcasm there, second semester is not the time to make a schedule change. 
Colleges look at your senior transcript, which includes all current courses listed for both first and second semesters. We have had many seniors that have had to reapply, have had offers rescinded, or have even been removed from certain honor societies due to second semester schedule changes. With this being said, schedule changes are definitely something to take seriously. Please feel free to reach out to your counselor now if you have any questions or concerns about your second semester. We are here for you. Please feel free to reach out to your school counselors if you need us.